In this tutorial, we will learn how to reverse each word in a character array. We use Java in this tutorial, but you can apply this to any programming language that supports character array. I see many people implement it using string library functions, split, reverse, and join. We don't want to do that in this tutorial because this will not work if the words are separated by more than one spaces or different delimiters. Also during an interview, you may not be allowed to use a string functions. Using string concatenation is bad because it'll create many temporary objects in Java. We also do not want to create another array. We want to reverse the words in place in the same array. So given a character array where words are separated by one or more spaces, we want to reverse each word. For example, in this input, we have three spaces at the beginning of the array, one word, two spaces, another word, the four spaces, and one more word. We want to generate the following output where delimiter positions do not change. Only the words are reversed. Now let's look at the algorithm. This algorithm has following four steps. One, skip spaces and find the beginning of a word. That is, we skip the first three spaces and stop at W, the first letter of the word. Two, skip all the non-spaces, non-space characters and find the end of a word. So in this example, we'll stop at E, the last letter of a word. Three, reverse the word. Four, repeat the steps one, two, three until everything is processed. Now let's look at the algorithm demo. Step one, skip all the spaces and find the beginning of the word. We start from the index zero and skip every delimiter using a while loop. Loop will repeat if the current character is a space. We also want to make sure while loop will stop when we reach the last character. This will occur if the array ends with a space character. Now let's look at the execution. So we start with the first space and skip every single space until we see the first character of a word. Current character is a space, so we move to the next and we do that again until we see the very first word character and we stop there. So we mark the beginning of a word as a start and then now we continue to find the end of a word. So it will be another while loop. Now we will repeat if the current character is not a space. So it's not a space. We move to the next and we move again. So now we see a space character, a delimiter. That means uh, we did find a word. We mark the end of a word. So the word starts at the start and it ends at the index end. Now we have this word. So we will reverse the word. To do that, we need a temporary character to do the exchange of a single character. So we will move one character and rewrite the other character using that temporary character. And we move the start to the right, we move the end to the left. So then this way we just exchange two characters because in this world we only have two characters. Now we are done because end and start they meet each other we are done with the reverse of a single word so now step four so we will start from the next character and repeat the entire process that is skip all the spaces find the beginning of a word then skip all the non-spaces and find the end of a word and then reverse it and then repeat this process now let's look at the solution. We use two variables, start and the end, to mark the beginning and the end of a word. We use a while loop to skip all the spaces and mark the beginning of a word. We use another while loop to skip all the non-spaces to mark the end of a word. And then we will reverse that word and we will repeat that process until every single character is processed. Thank you for watching.